Welcome back, boys and kids, to part two of the Scratch Build Along Rhino Tank. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back. Now, I'm not going to go repeating myself from the last episode, so if you're here in part two, you should maybe have some of these. If not, you got yourself some tube, all right? So first of all, we're gonna deal with these. Let's talk about how we're gonna deal with them. So, we're gonna take the knife out, and you see the, the little knob on the end? We don't want that. Without that, the two sides will match up, you see? They'll be the same. So we're just gonna take that little knob off, all right? And we're gonna do that on all of them. So you can take it off with your knife, just trim it back, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if you want to be really fussy, file it a little bit, but to be honest with you, it's going to see some polystyrene cement. It's going to melt the little raised bit anyway. But if you want it to sit just perfect when you're working later and be really anal about it, file it, sure. But anyway, do all of them and then come back to me, all right? As for the other guys who are doing it with the tube method, what you need to do is you need to be measuring yourself some bits that are going to be one centimetre or 10 mil mark it on your tube and cut it. Now, like I said, it is much easier to use a pipe slicer for this. So you can make your mark, you can adjust the pipe slicer down onto it. So um, let me just get a pencil. Let's just say that's our mark now. Right, you line it up with the blade. Okay, right, that's happy enough. You tighten it on and you just turn it. And then you tighten it and you turn it and you tighten it and you turn it and you tighten it and you turn it. Don't tighten it to the point that it squeezes it out of shape because that will damage the tube and it will cause it not to cut quite straight. So just keep going around and around and around and around. It might get boring and you're going around and around and you think it's not cutting and it's not doing anything, but it is. And just keep it at a tight but not bending it, you know, sort of tension, all right? So cut some off and you'll end up with some like this, all right? So that's you guys sorted, okay? And you might want to just file down the edges on these. And look, I'm telling you now, the four I've just cut are not perfectly level. I mean, they're fairly close, but they're not all the way there. But get them close enough, later on, we can work on them more. Um, to show you what I mean, I have completed one side already. Here's a one I did earlier. So... I'm filling them with green stuff. You guys can ignore the green stuff entirely and not do that. But as you can see, I've put the side of this track down, face down, and I've attached these four wheels. Now, the spacing of them is entirely up to you. You just want to give them a sort of equidistant distance from each other, you know, like keep the distance about the same from each other. Give them a little bit of gap from the edge, you know, a couple of mil from the edge. And uh, yeah, glue them on. But you see what I've done? I've only given them from this edge up that way. I've only given them what? That's uh, like three mil. Um, you can go more if you want, but I think keeping them at sort of that kind of uh, profile is going to lend itself to when we lay the tracks on. Um, I'm hoping, anyway. Um, the piece in here is what I told you guys about before, which is the square piece, right? Now, in doing the uh, one mil version of this, it's going to be the exact same, right? So we're going to use this stuff too. So you're just going to look at the side as it's laying down on, no, I'll get grab one here, as it's laying down, and you just get your piece and you give it a little bit of a gap from the edge and you do the same thing on the other side and give it a mark and cut it because you're basically you, you want to provide support but you and somewhere to glue when you're gluing another face down on here you see so this is a face to glue against as well as these wheels because without it we'll just be going against well we won't be going against very much at all we'd have to build up something anyway so build something inside of this uh the top of these tracks that you've actually got something to support and then what I've done is once I've put those wheels in place and they're glued 
I've then got my um, this is actually a 0.5 and that's a 1mm one. I've got my piece my other side like this and I've sandwiched it against it and I've gone to the top before this was here and I've measured the distance across now in this case it turned out to be uh, 11 mil so one centimeter and one mil so I cut a strip the same way as we did for the hole and I've just scored it and there's a nice way that you can go about scoring uh, this top strip and I'll show you that in just a moment when we get to it in fact so go ahead cut yourself some of these or get yourself your your track wheels prepared and we move on to the next step now we've got this square piece glued on the top like I said just squared it off so I made sure it's nice and flat so there we are and then it comes to these wheels that we're going to put on so I've just marked on the underneath a little bit of a guide so they're one centimeter or ten mil apart um, just to help me when I'm gluing them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the glue to one of the sides of the wheel and we're going to bring it up down to, hang on, let me just get this focused, I'm going to bring it down to where it's just behind. Hang on, let me get a bloody thing to focus. So we're going to bring it down to there. So at the top of the rim of that inner circle is going to touch the line and you'll see just in a sec I'll get these ones glued and I'll show you okay boys and gits I've got those glued on and as you can see they're all as I was saying equal distance away from that edge that I've made a little mark on so when we do then stick this and I also I did you know like it doesn't matter which way around you put them because they're gonna get sandwiched so uh, so basically when you come to stick this side on you're gonna have to be really really careful to get it really nice and lined up so it's nice and square and get this edge the same way as you got the other edge the same distance away on the wheels and everything like that so once you've got that glued on we'll come back and we'll do the next bit which is the rim as we made on this one which I'm gonna obviously guide you through this one too but a rim just like that basically is what we're going to do. That'll be the next stage, all right? Right, so with the one mil one aside as it is, we're going to obviously work on this one. Um, so you've got your bits cut. You don't have to fill them in with green stuff as I've done. But what you do have to do is obviously line them up nice and straight like the last one. So what I've done is I've just taken my other one. But you're basically same as before. You just one mil distance between the little marks so I've made some little marks on the edge there that I've just lined up with those so they'll be the same so I'm gonna go ahead and slather a bit of glue along there and then I'm gonna line my wheels up with those wheels there and get them nice and level okay one thing you can do to make this process easier is use a clamp um, and I've made sure I've left a bit of a gap around the edges so it should be just right when I glue these new wheels onto here and I put this green stuff here so I'm hoping that it's not in the way it shouldn't be I can push it back while it's still wet so I need to get this done so on with the glue let's not be shy let's get it on there right Number one. I'll just put them on loosely to start with and then we'll fix it up in a sec. Two. Three. Four. Right, I'm just going to line these up all nice and perfect. But you get the idea. Easy as that. Voila. This is what you end up with. It's still drying. I've just, just literally just taken it off the thing. One thing I have done, or I have noticed, is that with my green stuff although it don't matter with you guys you're probably not even going to bother but these in here are a little bit flatter than these are a bit more concave but whatever who cares um yeah it's a grot tank so whatever so the next thing is gonna be i'm gonna fill in once this is dried i'm gonna fill in all the rest with green stuff because like i told you like this one it's gonna be cast and this is the 
end piece. Now, before I stick this end piece on, and before you guys do the same, what I suggest you do is draw around it a few more times on another strip so that we've got some more to work with because uh, later on we're going to be adding further details onto these track sides and actually having the exact right shape will be ideal because I mean even if we go cutting bits out to just go down the corner if we just want a section of it having the whole thing at least so that we've got all the right dimensions so it fits perfect it's right so this one for example this is the one mil one that we've I've stuck some tracks on. Uh, I haven't done the tracks on that one yet. I'll do that with you. But I've already glued a side on that. But it's actually a little bit, and because of my own failure, is a little bit um, deeper than the edges. So a 0.5 piece would actually bring that nice and flush. Um, so I might do that on this one anyway, just to make it nice and straight. And then I can add all the details on and blah, blah, blah. So... Yeah, definitely keep hold of one, draw around it a few times before you glue your last piece on because you're going to want to need it later on, so don't forget. Okay, so finally, we'll deal with these top pieces. So, like I said, we take our side and we take our other side piece and we're just going to measure that distance there. And we're going to cut ourselves a nice strip like this one I've prepared. And see that sits nice and flush against the edges and so then what we're going to do in order to cut this I did say there's a particular way to go about cutting it I'll show you with the one mil one because I've already made a few marks on it so what you do is you take your piece you lie it down sideways you get your uh, piece that you're going to go using did I mark it oh, I swore I marked it maybe I didn't Oh no, I did. Just on the edge. Very, very finely I marked it. Okay, so let me just figure this out. Um, starting from the back side, actually. So, what I did is I laid it down this way. And when it's laying down, is I've lined up this piece, this edge with this bottom edge. Because that's going to be your last bit. The tracks are going to go in underneath there. So you're going to line up this flat edge. Here, you're going to mark where the pivot point's going to be on the edge there. All right, that's what I've done. Then I've moved it to the next one and I've made a mark where I believe the pivot's going to be. Moved it down and then I've done the same here. See, you're not always going to get it perfect, there might be a bit of jigging around to do. And if you find that you're too much out on one of them, then just cut it and file it down and you know you'll see what I'm on about as we go because they're not always going to work out perfect as it goes the other one I did for this actually turned out kind of almost perfect except for this front piece snapped off um, so I had to glue that one on individually but you can see the difference when you have to glue it on individually after it's snapped and when you actually manage to get it on a bend see when you actually manage to get it on a bend you get a much more seamless joint and you can easily come in and fill them with a little bit of putty whereas that is a much harder edge see well, there you go you know doesn't matter too much you know it all depends on how how uh, particular you want to be about this really so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and draw some lines and then score them very gently as we did before on both of these and I'm gonna bend them across the top of these and uh, get our sides attached and then we can move on to the next stage Right, so the next stage, of course, is making the tracks. Now, I've not glued this side on yet. I know you guys might have done that already, and it's not an issue. It can be a little bit easier just to see what you're doing with this side off when you're pushing these tracks on, but to be honest, it's just as easy if you've already glued the side on. It doesn't matter. It's uh, These are made of uh, two pieces of um, plastic strip that we've cut from the same um, card as this, and then we've just added some details on it, so it's, that's what's thickened it up. But... I just left that off because I was doing all this green stuff in inside, which you guys, of course, don't need to do because, you know, just this and the four wheels are going to give you the support to put this on and the edge to glue this around will be provided by your top piece. So you don't need to do what I've done. It's just because, like I told you, I'm sending these off to be cast so that you guys can pick them up as a product if you don't want to be building your own. But if you do, follow me and we'll make some tracks, all right? So as I say... 
they are made of this same plastic card but all I've done is I've made some little teeth on the inside see just to make it look like there's something that the wheels are biting on and then on the outside here we've just got some bits of plastic card and rod now I've used some textured rib stuff see just there I've cut some small bits of that off and used it in a few places I've also got some eye beam that I've trimmed the back off of in a few places and some half pipe sort of uh, plastic like this see uh, in there and there and another bit further up if you don't have any of these fancy bits and bobs it doesn't really matter you can you can just make things from this standard card it's not difficult I mean that's exactly what like I say the teeth inside are but if you layer them up and you cut different shapes you can make all sorts of interesting things from just standard bits of plastic card so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut ourselves a couple of strips that are going to make the track uh, you're going to need oops, you're going to need four of these in total uh, to make the two tracks so I'll just show you I'll tell you how long they are now yours might vary slightly just because of your your build but my tracks are measuring in at 66 millimeters right yeah 66 so two of those for each side one of them is going to be having the teeth applied to one side of it but what you're going to do in order to figure that out is you're going to bend the piece over the wheels to start with and well you're going to lay it over it see see where the uh, where it comes around I'll show you on this one it's just as easy and then once you flatten the bottom out you're going to make a little pencil mark on the inside of this strip and that's where you're going to be putting your little uh, teeth that you cut or however you want to make it look like the uh, wheel is gripping the uh, track so that's your one strip and that's the initial one and that's going to go on get pushed in and we'll do this together I'm just explaining first and that's going to go in and then once that's set we're going to take a second strip and we're going to add all those little detail bits of uh, track on it and we're going to bend that around the other one and glue it onto that and that should give us this effect okay and then I've just uh, green stuffed around the edges just to sort of tidy it up a little bit. I could have used a file on it before putting it on, but I was silly, so you know you can do that if you want. Um, or just come out of it afterwards with some green stuff like I did. All right, so let's do this together. I'm going to uh, mark um, where I'm going to put the uh, treads, and we'll make these tracks together, all right? Okay, so these tracks... Um, Actually, just before I do, look at the state of my hands. Look, they're all peeling, right? And that's just from doing a load of resin cleaning. So wear gloves when you're cleaning your resin kits because when you go cleaning off some of that uh, lubricant they use, it can really mess with your hands. But anyway, onto the tracks, as I was saying. Um, I haven't stuck my sides down, like I say. I'm going to show you how we attach this in. So this one, like I say, I've glued on some little strips, which I did by just placing the... The track piece over I'll take that off just so you can see so I've pushed one end in to one end bent it around pushed the other in the other end like that and I just flattened it down and that's basically what we're going to do we're going to glue here 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 and here on these four wheels you see and we're going to push that down flat we're going to get a nice flat stick there and we're not even going to borrow a rubber sticking up here and here just yet we can stick some super glue in there later i'm going to be back filling it with um green stuff but like i say you don't have to worry about doing that but before we do that we'll get the next bit prepared as well which is the second strip because what we're going to do is once that strip is on we'll have a second strip that lays over that with the detail on so if you've done like i said and cut yourself some interesting bits you can uh, go about gluing them now to this strip as I'm about to do right now right so now now they're all glued on I'm uh, gonna let them dry because as you can see they're not very neat I need to uh, file all the edges trim them down a bit and also snip off where they overlap a little bit but yeah just you know stick them on in a nice sort of unorganized or semi-organized pattern if you like and uh, let them dry and then file them up and I'll come back to you. 
Please do excuse the wind if you can hear it. It's very annoying here. It's very, very windy. Let's get some glue on these wheels, like I said. Let me get our piece. <coughs> Bend it in there, so just push that in there, push that in there. And then flatten. And it might help to actually push it against the desk or something like that to get your nice flat. Might leave that across just a little bit. Right, I'm just gonna put something heavy on that and keep it down. Um, just check that you've got a nice sort of even coverage either side of the wheels. Like that. Okay. Alright. Come back to you once that's dried. All right, what I'm just doing now, now that's set on the bottom, I'm just going to apply some glue in here and in here. Some super glue that is. Add some in that side wants pushing down. That side doesn't really need it too much. Right, I'm just going to hold it for a little while, let the glue set. Squish it about a bit, then get into the grooves. Patience is key. And I have lost thine. <laughs> well, that, that's pretty good, it's holding. So that's now dried and I've filled in with a little bit of green stuff. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to put some polystyrene cement across the bottom of this track. Just along here, all over the thing. All the way around, nice and sticky. Get our track, tuck it in that side, tuck it in that side. Push it flat, and then we're going to hold it on there, okay? So I'm going to go off camera and hold this down. And that's just drying on there, but as you can see, these two edge bits of the tracks, they're raising up. But that's fine, I can address that once it's dried. I'll just put a little bit more glue under there and just bend them down a little bit. But there you go, that's what you're going to end up with. And then we can also put the side on, so when you come back to me, I will have bent these bits down and put the side on and then we'll talk about where we go from here all right okay so now I've got the side glued on on this one <laughs> see I couldn't even tell which one it was I've still got the uh, green stuffing to do around the edges and I've still got to push these two bits that like I said back in a little bit but I just wanted to talk to you now about what we're going to do in the next episode so in the next episode we're going to armor the tank up now, I'll just put it together so you can see sort of how it looks together. Right? Oh. There we are. Go on, break it. <laughs> it's a good job I filled it with green stuff. It's a solid thing now. Um, right, so there you go. There's a this sort of basic tank shape, yeah? And we've got these holes on the front so we can put the demolisher ram on the front. Um, if you guys are going to just glue it together as is, you don't need to worry about detailing the inside of the tracks and the side of the hull, just this corner part sticks out so you're only gonna have to worry about adding the back door some detail on the front here and on the front here on the back there top front and on the bottom maybe if you'd like to and on the sides of the tracks um, so do pay attention in the next episode when we do some armor but you don't have to worry about doing it on the insides here um, but if you do do it in the insides as I will demonstrate in the next video then it needs to be nice and flat like this one that I've done here so it will happily accept tracks up on the side of it you see so we'll discuss that in the next video so i hope you guys are enjoying this little series and i hope to see you in the next episode thanks for watching welcome back these bits that stick out, see? They're, bloody hell, come on. Uh, 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 uh.